Hi there. Today we're going to look at the CADVR and the configuration of the unit through the web interface. Um, to log into the DVR, uh, type in a username admin and also the password admin. Next we click on the configuration uh, tab up the top. Right. Uh, click on the general folder and this will open up the uh, settings within it. Right, so up the top there we've got the system time. Uh, to adjust the date, we simply click on the arrow down button and then effectively the left and right buttons up the top on the calendar will indicate the month and then simply click on the day required to select. Uh, to change the time, we simply click on the time figure and we can use the up and down buttons to adjust the time as required. If, um, if required, you can use the uh, PC sync button. This will sync the uh, DVR time with the time of the uh, PC that you're currently connected to. Uh, once we have configured the time and date, we simply press save. Right. Uh, the next parameter to change is the um, date format. Uh, by default, it is year, month, and date. For the New Zealand format, we select uh, day, month, year. Uh, the next feature to configure a somewhat a handy feature is the uh, daylight savings time. To set the daylight savings time, we press the set button. We select weekday, and we enter the parameters month, ninth, week, last, weekday, Sunday, hour two o'clock, uh, minute zero. That is effectively the starting of daylight savings for New Zealand. The end is the fourth month, first week, Sunday at two o'clock in the morning, hours, uh, sorry, minutes zero. Okay, that. Uh, and to enable this feature, we simply click on the uh, DST uh, tick box there. The rest of the parameters are effectively OK. Um, if you'd like to change your time format, you can effectively change it from 24-hour uh, um, clock to 12-hour. Um, in this instance, I want to keep it at 24. Um, and if effectively, everything else is uh, by default uh, OK. We simply click on the Save button to save our parameters. And the Refresh button to make sure that our um, parameters that we have changed have committed. Next uh, feature we want to look at is encode. Uh, on the in the encode uh, folder, you will find the features to allow us to change the resolution, uh, the frame rate, uh, also the bit rate as well. Um, the uh, the, the fifth, uh, thing we need to change is effectively. Uh, the channel name if required. So in this, in this instance, I have already changed the channel name. Um, next is effectively the uh, mainstream. The mainstream is effectively the the way we set the unit up for either um, motion. Rec uh, sorry, we, 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 how we set the um, resolution and the frame rate for the different recording types. So in this instance, we have three. Mainstream is effectively the full-time recording uh, rate. The uh, motion stream is how we configure the, uh, the way we want motion to record, and alarm is obviously the alarm stream of how we want it to record as well. So in this instance, I want to set the motion stream to 6 frames a second at D1, D1 being the highest for analog. So effectively, we click on uh, resolution, default it is D1, so we simply set that. Um, frame rate is 6 frames uh, a second. Um, so with this particular DVR here, um, it defaults at 25. In this instance, I want to change it back to 6, so we simply select on 6. Um, by default, the bit rate is CBR, and um, if required, you can adjust your bit rate uh, for streaming to your web browser. 
the extra stream is used for the iPhone app or Android. Um, first, what we want to make sure is that uh, the video tick box is selected. Our resolution, uh, we've got two options. We've got a SIF or QSIF. QSIF being a, a basically quarter of the SIF resolution. So um, a SIF is the better one for clarity. Um, once again, this DVR has the options of 1 to 25 frames. I believe 6 frames is adequate for the um, for viewing uh, off-site by iPhone or Android. Uh, bit rate type CBR. Uh, bit rate uh, 192 is, um, I believe, is a good bit rate for, it's, it's a good uh, balance between uh, data rates um, for streaming to your phone and also um, the, uh, the quality as well uh, on your phone as well. So once we set those parameters, we can also copy uh, them to the additional channels and it's as simple as clicking on the copy button click all channels okay once we've done that you can effectively click save and that will have committed these current settings on screens to the other channels so if we, we can double check that by clicking on uh, channel 2 changing it uh, from mainstream to motion stream and you can see that followed through to the other channels. Right. The next thing we want to do is select our schedule. By default, um, the schedule will look like this, which is regular record, uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, in this instance, I want to set it, set it to motion, so for all channels, and that's very simply done by clicking on the set button, clicking regular, clicking on motion detection, clicking all, uh, all days of the week, click OK, and uh, the mustard coloured um, line will indicate that we are recording 24 hours a day uh, as motion detection, uh, seven days a week as well. Uh, the key record for this particular channel is uh, four seconds, and um, that will also correspond to the others as um, it is the default value. To copy this particular schedule to the other channels, it's as simple as clicking the copy button, select all, click OK. Once we've saved that, we can double check by selecting, selecting the other channels and double check that the thing uh, has committed. The refresh button also uh, once again that uh, will doubly check that the, uh, the that the schedule has committed to the other channels the next next thing we want to look at is um, the network by default the IP address for this DVR is 192.168.1.108 the DHCP is will be turned off the ports that are of importance are the TCP port, which is 37777, which is the uh, iPhone slash Android slash remote client port. Um, the HTTP port is port 80, and this allows us to web browse directly to the DVR. Uh, these, these, these ports can be changed as required, um, so it's effectively um, is, is custom, you can customize them to, to your requirement. The next folder we want to look at is the detect. Detect allows us to um, get the motion sensitivity. It also allows us to select the region of the image that we, we wish to um, motion mask for or mask out of the motion mask. Uh, we simply click on the select button here and effectively we can just drag across the area that we want to deselect for um, no motion detection. Once we clear the area, effectively that means that there is no uh, motion masking in the area. By clicking on clicking OK, we basically commit that setting. In this instance, I want to 
we have uh, all the camera uh, that the DVR is going to recognise, um, so effectively one being the least motion detection and the six being the highest, uh, three is generally okay in most scenarios. So that particular, um, particular channel is being set the way I require it, so I can just simply click save. And to, to change other channels, we simply click the channel sensitivity for it and also set that personalization through our motion thing as well. It is preferred not to use the copy button as uh, it can somewhat uh, cause issues in recording of the video. So please make sure you use the small uh, button, drop down menu to, and also settings individually rather than using the copy button. The next thing that we want to look at is setting up the uh, user accounts for the DVR. By default there is uh, simple users that are already in the system. Uh, this particular user triple eight triple eight is a default user, admin and triple six triple six and also default. Add a user, it's uh, very simple. Click on uh, the add user, enter your username and password, and your password, select which group you would want to use, and effectively uh, save that information and it will add a user. So let's see that our user now. Um, add my reusable password, uh, reusable user, sorry, and then effectively we'll add the password one, two, three, four. Them in the admin group, if you want to give them a little more features than a uh, user will have. So if you don't want them to have also your commerce data, display, zoom, anything else that's okay, we'll save that. Other than that, that's a very simple, uh, it's a very simple way of setting up this particular DVR. Uh, there's the DVR under auto maintenance for every, every Tuesday at 2 o'clock. This is the default setting. Uh, if you do not want the DVR to reboot, make sure you use it never. Um, so once I've changed the, uh, the, um, those particular settings, the DVR is simply set up to report. and we are ready to go. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Goodbye.